Have you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring chiral communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm.
Dan. This is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cupid. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this or...
time. Sign someone left over there. You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. It's easier than you might think. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect that ID. Which is a roundabout way of saying, but that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a promise made to a person in need, and they're counting on you to deliver. Huh. <sighs> 
Remember that prolonged exposure to timefall damages cargo containers. Don't stay out in the rain any longer than you have to. Private locker can be used to store cargo and the like.
Verifying ID. Clear. Cargo verified. Thank you. Delivering cargo. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. But the oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true? I finally got it working? Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? Connection to Capital Not City confirmed. It's really happening. What, just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next?
West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Mortnot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station, as to which you should head for first. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. Good work, Sam. I see. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Sam, you can use share lockers to exchange cargo with other porters. Sam, you can use that PCC to build a post box.
Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. Delivering cargo. You'll be delivering supplies for a Cairo printer. The distro center you're going to has one. First expedition set it up. On its own, it's no different from your run-of-the-mill 3D printer. Connected, though, it can utilize Cairo network data to reproduce all kinds of things. And you can imagine how handy that might be. Now, I know I don't need to tell you, but steer clear of any BTs you find out there. Avoid outs the last thing we need. Sam, it's Hartman. Void outs occur when the living of our world come into contact with beached things. The reaction is similar to what a physicist would call an annihilation, when a subatomic particle collides with its antiparticle. Alas, there ends our understanding. Why do the dead transform into BTs? Why are void outs only triggered by human contact? And why are people like you able to return seemingly unscathed? No one knows. Yet it cannot be a coincidence that these phenomena were observed only after we discovered the beach and bridged this world and the next. Anyway, to reiterate, the only reliable means by which you can prevent a void out is to stay far, far away from BTs. delivering supplies for a Cairo printer. The distro center you're going to has one. First expedition set it up. On its own, it's no different from your run-of-the-mill 3D printer. Connected, though, it can utilize Cairo network data to reproduce...
Destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. ones for you.
doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though.
Sam Bridges, with the second expedition right? The guy expanding the chiral network on his lonesome. When he's not out making deliveries. So what'd you bring us? Let's see it. Thanks. Can't imagine how you managed to haul this stuff through BTville. Wait, Sam? As in Sam Porter, that legendary delivery guy? <laughs> well, I'll be. connecting us to the network? Thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west, and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work.
Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. <sighs> These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a steel mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Hmm. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. 
No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. <laughs> <laughs>